Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty where I'm still trying to keep the world somewhat stable. We are seeing another Haven under attack. Ashuna uh, is this time being attacked by... Uh, I think New Jericho. And we are deploying our prime team just to teach them a lesson really. Not enough uh, points yet. Well, for most of them, uh, Ian continues to get uh, more and more hit points. He's an important, potentially the VIP character of this campaign. Anyways, let's jump right into the action. Good, we landed. Look at that. The disciples of Anu always have these strange havens which sort of look like alien farms. and we can directly induce panic to three of them. Uh, how about we're moving up, getting a potential ally here. Who then in return goes over there. By the way, super high movement speed for uh, for that Berserker. I hope we can get him. I like those higher level uh, operatives that are well kitted out. Good, time for a cleanup. This mission is one of the missions where it's going to be a complete slaughter fest. Jumping over into the middle. to take uh, the edges first. Moves up. Kills. Continues to charge up. I can't do this. The enemies by now are solidly panicked. And I'm wondering, where are the remaining enemies? Berserker moves up, doesn't find anyone. Shattered Realm moves up, again does not find anyone. <clears throat> Sure, I haven't missed anyone. Grell just moves around the corner in the hopes of spotting something out. Negative. Okay. 
Oh, look at you. Well, oh, that's an easy one. Good. Here we go. I should end the mission. I would have been very surprised if that wouldn't have ended it. So what's the lesson learned out of that? I think we've killed 20-ish attacking um, enemies and I never really saw the chance. The big lesson learned for me is if you do have a way to reset and pump over actions, this game becomes quite trivial. There are a couple of... My, my, my core criticism with the game potentially would be that it is absolutely horrendously poorly balanced. I can't imagine how someone... Why would a game designer not use a proper... a, a proper playtesting? Like someone who knows what they are doing, uh, who is who is informed, an informed gamer. I just I am baffled that uh, some of uh, the decisions have been made the way that they have been made. Like, why would you allow something like Warcry, uh, which is just one of the strongest abilities, and it even is at the beginning. It de facto has no target limitation and steals um, up up to I, I hit sometimes eight nine targets for it. That's like what you're you're reducing almost twenty action uh, action uh, points from the enemy. How's that? How does anyone design a game and is like you know what that sounds about right? We should definitely release it. It's a stupid ability, and equally, I can't believe that uh, that they fell for the same trap that so many tactic games are falling for, which is uh, one-shotting and then re reset mechanics. Gears Tactics actually did it uh, somewhat well. Okay, we got a new uh, technology. Super hardcore long-ranged, uh, Blast 400. Shreds for 20. Hence to use two. Archangel. Well, it. Hmm. So, my point is. I do not understand how these uh, things can pass normal game testing and be realistic uh, normal game balance testing and 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 someone is realistically saying you know what that's actually a really good idea and maybe they wanted the end game to be uh, the way uh, it is which is fine but if you go for a uh, for a vertical instead of uh, horizontal uh, development, meaning you uh, research alternatives instead of replacements, then each of the alternatives should have a clear rock paper scissor uh, ability. Here, for me, it just doesn't appear that that is the case. For me, there are a couple of things that are just. Um, light years more advanced and better than anything else that you could have in terms of weapons and skills and then there is kind of the, the rest which is also okay but why would you go why would anyone then other than kind of fun like I did it with one of the other uh, with one of the other uh, lower level teams why would anyone go for for the alternatives if if you do have a clear best option and i'm not talking about uh, the uh, mm, weapons of the ancients i think it's fair that they are quite good they are quote unquote hidden behind a long uh, quest line that's okay i don't even mind that uh, too much for me the biggest offender in terms of balance uh, here 
a couple of core skills uh, that if you combine them with uh, one another, they are just way too strong. Mandicore 4, rested and healed, and Mandicore 8, also rested and healed. Can double check what personnel. Barbor got a level up. I like that. Onslaught would be good. I think that would be helpful. It's such a good ability. Good. Anyone else who got a level? Yeah, funnily enough, the people that we deposited in Phoenix Point are slowly but surely getting levels. Cool. Yeah, not a problem. Level 7. Oh yeah, they were all maximum level already. Just out of curiosity, do we have a lot of people that are not maximum level? And if so, Mandicore 1 and 3. Where are these? Well, yeah, well, now they do have more important uh, things to do. Healers 5 and 6. Oh, we're back to full stamina. Well, that's easy peasy. In which case... Let's go trading. Yeah, for the first time in a while, no one is attacking, nothing is happening, and all we need to do is to research, which I wanted to do for a while, just research in peace. Where's the shotgun? Right there. Okay, a couple of short guns. Pandoran Lair. Okay. We can do that with team number two. Which reminds me... Um, these guys might need some new equipment. Sniper rifle. Yes, please. Um, well, you could also have a nice rocket launcher, grenade launcher rather. I'm not trying to capture enemies at the moment, so. Boom Blast would be a really good addition. <clears throat> Good, Jim the Hammer Ulet. I like that weapon, but I honestly think that the acid uh, weapon, uh, acid cannon, is a bit better. And I honestly think that instead of the acid weapon, the flamer is even better than that. Uh, want to get bonus grenade? Yeah, we're we need boom blast here. Well, we already got an adrenaline rush, which isn't bad. So I think strength will be helpful, just so that we're not overloaded. Uh, 
Um, tell you what, Ein is actually not doing too bad for himself. I think we're okay. In terms of weapons here, same deal with Kitsu. Now, Helios 11 is the second crew. Oh, I finally understand. The laser array is for heavies only. Now I do understand. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to see how good that performs. A few more points onto the adrenaline rush. I think we're getting that right now. That one of the very seldom times that I use Phoenix uh, joint points in order to buy individual uh, individual uh, skills for anything but the main team is what I should say. Ender Sanders uh, definitely rapid clearance next. Good. A couple of shotguns are missing. I can already see that. Rapid clearance would be helpful. Okay, yeah, so the shotguns... The shard guns are making all the difference. Another sniper wouldn't be bad. We had a few Maddox of the Ancient lying around. No, I think we also had a few snipers lying around. Time for shard guns and Maddox of the Ancients. Okay, very good. New recruits are available. Well, we don't really need new recruits at this point. What we mainly need is to continue producing, 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 and then do the uh, the next layer. Snyder's moon launch site is under. is under construction. Okay, we're flying there, we need to defend that. Good. Apparently, they are creating a, that moon launch base and the Exalted Temple. I don't know what exactly that does. Ragnarok. Um, Phoenix Shredding Missile Launcher. Action points one. Uh, so it's one on the back again. Shreds 30. And the M Mjolnir grenade. Mjolnir is the hammer of Thor, by the way. Which kind of fits to Ragnarok, which is the end uh, times in uh, the uh, northern uh, mythology. 
Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not necessarily sure if I want to build that, but cool things, I guess. Good. We're getting more and more back. Yeah, I don't want to fly that far down if another attack happens. We need to be ready, vigilant, as always. Oh, we're getting resources, finally. Now, one, two of these bad boys. We got a lot of rebukes ready. And another shark gun and another Maddock. Good, sounds like a plan. Good, this also sounds like we need a plan. And how are we doing on time? I think good enough we can still do that defense, so let's deploy. Double checking again. And grenade uh, thrower, grenade thrower. You know, I mean, we could use the subjugator, but so far the little spiders always happen to be a welcome, uh, welcoming addition. Good, where is the shotgun? Right there. There we go. Yeah, the problem is the weight. As always, I don't want to be encumbered. So... Bye-bye, rapid clearance. Not happening yet. Tyler definitely gets a shotgun. Good. Is there anything else we could take that would make sense for her certainly the shotgun but we don't have that yet Jim takes just a uh, better accuracy weapon. Look, overall, almost uh, kitted out. One shotgun is missing. I love it that we're getting the better weapons now. Good, we land. Kill all enemies. That is a completely new and unexpected <laughs> Good. Um, wait. Who is scouting for us? Yeah. 
Good. Jim moves up. Little green. Uses the jetpacks. Full cover here. Very good. Ender Sanders moves up. Gets into full cover. Ready. I was born ready. Tyler at one position. Throwing a turret into the open. And Ein stands near him. Another Overwatch. Kitsu will hopefully deploy a turret <clears throat> on top of the roof. I want good aiming angles, so our snipers Let's go. are beginning to charge forward. And we'll take that middle section here. Good. End of turn. Yes. The enemies are right there. This is an Hydran infiltrator trying to hit them. Oh boy. Stay sharp. Eliminating hostile. This is very much going to suck. New Jericho is my least favorite faction to fight against. Mainly due to the explosives and utilization of fire. In my perspective, two of the strongest uh, capabilities that you could have. On top of them, uh, on top of that, they do have heavies that can fly in. And now we're unfortunately being spotted out by a technician. Oh yeah, I forgot they also have technicians. Which boy oh boy, I don't like them either. Good. Moving up. Still moving up. Straight up almost Ready deleting this guy. I'll be right there. Yeah, I want to get on top of the roof. In my sights. Tyler five. hits and Continues to aim, but unfortunately doesn't hit. Good. Continuing. Hexer. Aiming. Ah. 
Let's just get this over with. Misses, but five hits five. the guy standing right next behind. Um, we can abuse the fact that that uh, costs only one action. That's a really decent cleanup sniper. I'm here. Overwatch. Overwatch. Pistol Overwatch. I'll okay. Stop them. There are a lot of enemies uh, there. Not seeing anything with the turret here, unfortunately. I moves up. Shoots, and I think we can just fear that guy. <laughs> Panic sometimes is the easiest solution. Killed that entire side. Little green continues to move up. And Jim the Hammer Eulot uh, follows in pursuit. 55 armor. Wow. Alright, end of turn. Let's resolve this. Let's think. Ah! Think of it ah! as Reaver Solidarity. Interesting choice of positioning, my friend. In the meantime, the only Sinadran defender seems very much under attack. Stay sharp. I'll enjoy this. That was the linchpin, the final straw that broke the camel's back, or in this case, uh, the neck of, of the infiltrator. up and the shotgun really delivers <laughs> okay
three. And four. Oh. I like the burning damage. Jim moves up. Adrenaline rush. I think the, the guy is dead. Oh! What a strong combination. Adrenaline rush plus uh, the rebuke launcher. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Moving. Jim moves up. Big fat disable on the torso. Natalia. Zooming in. Enemy down. Kills this guy without even twitching. Covering. I'm basically just moves forward so that he can help hasting everybody next turn. No way. This guy... It, what? This one tile is floating all by, it, uh, by itself. Okay. Case closed. Tyler moves up. We have the ranged advantage. So might as well use it. Good, end of turn. Tactical break. Oh, F you. And your stupid rocket launcher. Five by five. Good. Arms. Field netting healing ourselves. And healing ourselves. Wonderful. Everybody is in range. Frenzy. And in return, I felt it was appropriate to deliver four grenades. And although maybe not all of them hit, you can rest assured that it will deal enough damage completely kill the, uh, the body uh, do we have set. onslaught no another guy okay cool
Here we go. Moving fast. Good, Jim. Uh, Jim moves up. New Jericho heavy. Well, I can tell you as much. Repositioning. Hope We're repositioning, and Jim will drop the hammer on him. <gasps> wow, nice hit. Five by five. Tyler does the same. Snipers are really good. <clears throat> this wound is giving me some trouble. Good, continue to Just kill them with uh, grenades, I suppose. Grenade launchers are also absolutely fantastic. The only thing that this team is missing is more will points and onslaught so that you can shift around the actions a little bit. Other than that, it has a different damage profile. It's not just going in and using Scyther to just kill everything. It has more of a range profile, but it I would have a hard time arguing that that was yet, a, yet another stomp. <clears throat> We're <clears throat> just having three snipers that can dish out six shots. Good. Now that was Krug Haven again. I fell for it yet again. There's this one Haven, Sinidran Haven, uh, with that specific combination, which is always made of Krugs. So in terms of research, only thing that we need is a virophage injector. But I wanted to at least have the other research as well to see if there is another option besides that. Two for twelve, yes, please. And I don't know what it means that the Exaltus Temple is under construction or the Moon Launch site is under construction. Does that mean we will have a chance to actually win with that? Hmm. Well, We'll figure it out, I suppose, in the near future. I have the feeling that this game goes uh, towards its final mile, which isn't bad because we're like, what, 133 episodes in. 
Uh, it will be a few more, I guess. Uh, next time we're going to defend uh, this haven. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want uh, to help defending Earth, uh, then the way to go is the like button. You know the drill by now. See you in the next episode and goodbye.